Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the February 1st update details. Just in case you were checking it out on the forums, uh, the person who actually uploaded it the first time did some stupid jokes in it, so I would say go to the official notes. So yeah, just I, I know it's usually good here, but there were some weird stuff. Now, let's start talking about the patch. So first of all, there's a bunch of new characters, uh, some EEs in the dark side, a few skins, and some very needed balance, so I'm going to say it's pretty cool. And they did decide to buff some old players. And of course, Leia, who of course is my waifu. Everyone who's seen my game will ask me why she's there and then they see her play. So let's get started. Uh, the new character is called Lois. I, I, I'm sensing they try to make them impossible to pronounce. I mean, she does look cool and it was kind of obvious that she was Ardor. So our ace, increased attack power and action speed of Ardor. That's pretty good though. Penetration, critical rate 25, critical resistance 25, allies within position. I mean, that does look pretty good, especially since it's an active. Uh, critical resistance, I don't know if it's worth an active. We'll see how much it costs. It's, it's good, but it doesn't give something magical either. Uh, on top of it, it has a time limit, it can disappear. Passive 2, share vigor, decrease critical rate and action speed of enemies within the position. Again, it gives already a 50% crit decrease online. Uh, pinpoint penetration increase, attack power, and reflex with an attack. Uh, with an attack is going to be important. It means if someone tries to steal, she's pretty bad. And situation analysis, recover your action bar by 15% and your life by 25% when an ally within the position receives an attack. So I'm sensing this is going to be very powerful with an Angela combo. Like this, both of them are going to be able to heal. Uh, again, the action bar is limited, so it doesn't reach 100%, but 80% if you build her with speed will still be pretty good. Now, I do want to point out she's, I think, uh, an attacker because it's penetration, so she won't have that high of a reflex, so we'll see, but it, it does look questionable if she's going to be good or not. We need to wait to see the stats and the uses. Now, Extreme Evolution Patrica, I'm going to say I'm pretty disappointed in it. Uh, we all thought this was gonna, the skill that was going to be changed, but it did not. Increase critical resistance by 50% to increase critical resistance by 50% reflex 20%, but it's still a solo skill, so it's just, yeah, useless. Now, the change that they did do was Ebon Stronghold will be changed to Daybreak. Uh, all they really got was decrease incoming damage 15%, increase max life 25%, critical rate by 25%, and just 10% more life and 25% critical rate. It's still the worst elemental rest totem in game by far. So yeah, they just did not save her. Now Fontas got some nice buffs. Um, for example, uh, his uh, I'm, def I'm Defeated Warrior 2. Uh, all they did was increase Dribble by 20%. Passive skill Rage will be changed to March of Supreme, giving him a critical rate of 40% of an attack on top of the counter-attack resistance. So it's, it's just some decent little buffs. Again, he's a special player. He isn't really meant to be used in a serious competitive way. Some new skins have been added. Uh, this is a unique skin, so Marianne will have a new voice. I gotta say, they, they all look pretty good this time around, so I'm, I got no big issue with this. Uh, now, looking at the draws, if you're Ardor and you wanna try Lori's, I mean, she does sound interesting, so why not? Lori's Ardor, Cynthia, I mean, you can scout it, you can scout it, you can scout it, you can scout it. And William, William, yeah, if you're Ardor, this is a really good week. And Felix or Thunder, I mean, Cynthia, even for you can scout her. If you can get her in Felix in a week, that would be pretty good. Thinking that you get Felix, Cynthia is also part of that Thunder meta. And the following week, we have Erica, Linnea, Princess Marianne, Kian, Ran, the Shaman, Lucifer, Leventor, and Presti. Uh, the only new star here is the Shaman, who is literally the best backline totem I have ever seen especially in mono light and has great utility so for any mono light people and people who want a really strong backline totem for some more offensive backline i would seriously recommend her so draw her if, that, if that's what you're looking for and if not leventor and Pressy are both pretty good especially with the new meta leventor is uh being one of the few strikers having a great advantage over Presti, and Presti being well an op goalkeeper who doesn't even have an ee yet who's going to be very soon uh, features, illustration one, the second art contest will be displayed in the loading screen. Well, yeah, you know, the usual.
Now, what's cool is there's going to be a few balancing things. So for sure, it's just, yeah, they're saying that people didn't fully explain it. Uh, previously, getting additional action, yeah, get additional action if an action. 50% of the lost life will be recovered first, and critical damage will be increased by 40% of each action. And now it's been changed to uh, with the first action. So, yeah, they're kind of trying to tell you that this does not stack because it used to be 80% of the second hit. And if you had a third hit, it got even more powerful. It just got insane at the end. I mean, we could see some reaching, I think, 200 or something. It, it just got weird. Um, so, yeah, they kind of fixed that out. Now, Celestia nerf. I like kind of have Celestia, and I'm kind of sad at the nerf. But I do agree with half of it. The first part is the active skill. They just increased the cost by 0 0.5 spirit. I mean, I get where you're going with this for PvP abuse, but it, 1.5 is still already very expensive for a skill. So it kind of really makes it just too expensive for a lot of comps. And you're kind of removing the, the value of the skill in itself. Um, then we have the change to her life-destroying skill, who used to be, well, pretty much broken. So it's been changed from 15 to 5 at the regular level. And then the EE version is, uh, it used to be 20. Now it's 10. I mean... The idea, again, is to stop the people who are completely abusing that in uh, PV and COD. I mean, they're the reason this has happened. And I do want to point out, this is one of the rare times where they've nerfed the legend this fast after changing her, like we can all remember for certain <coughs> William problems we've had in the past. Uh, still pretty bad, but yeah, it took forever for them to nerf him. So yeah, they did nerf her. I mean, again, unless you were doing the, the Kamikaze build, you're not going to feel any difference whatsoever. She's still very strong. It's just a bit less broken. That's all it's going to be. I do feel because of all the nerfs, they should have buffed something in her kit. I mean, maybe buffed the spirit or some other skill she has. Sadly, they didn't. So it really does feel like a nerf. And I know a few people bought her very recently, like Rokue from the forums. I really feel bad for him. So Beatrice, we've been talking about a buff for ages. I mean, seriously, it's been, it's been a while. So she finally got a buff. So it's going to be her passive skill, Honorable Vow, that has been changed to Flight of the Dragon. So the problem used was that it used to give life. Now it gives critical rates. I mean, we've got no issue with this. I increase attack power, penetration, critical damage with a shot. Critical damage, 5%. Again, no one says no to a buff. And now what I care about the most, who I know I might be the only one, lay a buff. More action speed. At the beginning, I was scared that we get a touch at 50% because it does affect her quite a lot. So yeah, they buffed her speed 30% in this skill. And then for her old skill, who used to be attack power and reflex, I do want to point out I usually have 1.6 to 1.7k dribble with her. Well, now they decided that we need to be able to crit instead of attack power. I mean, if we can get her to crit, it's, it's just insane in PvE. I do feel in PvP, especially against crit rest teams that have those global totems, it will feel like a small nerf, but hey, the speed is there, guys. The, the speed alone makes up for everything. Because the way she, she heals, it's, it's fine. She doesn't care that much. Now, Curl has been balanced. Basically, they're, they're balancing here the entire mechanic of stealing a target's attack power. Because attack power is technically uh, attack, well, dribble and steal. And now they've removed that to only being dribble. So again, this is a dribble for curl. It is dribble for Felix. It's going to be the same for all of them. Uh, that's all they're really changing because it gave whoever stole too much power. They couldn't steal. They couldn't attack. And they basically had to suicide to be back at a normal level. That wasn't changed though. So then there were a few little buffs on uh, Bora and Damon. I know Nawazu was really happy about this. So uh, passive go side and also steal attack power and dribble of the target. That's just a plain out buff. And uh, passive shadow fan and also steals attack power and dribble of the target. Pretty decent. Just buffs. Plain buffs. Uh, fix the issue with, with fours. Passive skill soul guidance being applied to the allies within the position when it's supposed to be applied to four only. Oh, so they, they finally figured that one out. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of used it, but it's fine. Oh, there's a few errors, and that, those are like the really basic stuff. Uh, I, that's pretty much all that there's in the patch. But I do want to point something out that they don't seem to be mentioning, who I'm kind of surprised. 
uh, is that we're right now we're hitting the off season of the um, the club matches. We're just about to finish it. So knowing that we're finishing it logically, we should be able to have a new special manager in there. A lot of us are hoping for Vanilla to come back. So we'll see what they do. Maybe they're going to surprise us or maybe something goes wrong. Uh, we'll wait and see. So that's it for this week, guys. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or want a, a specific video, just write it down and I'll see what I can do. Have a good day, guys.